Let us switch to another example for a use case of the probabilistic analysis. Often, two extreme scenarios are used, in order to find critical regions within the network, where topological modifications or expansions might be necessary. Another approach for investigating these regions can be probabilistic analysis. First, we will activate study case extreme cases, in which the two extreme scenarios are predefined. In operation scenario low load, high in feed, the loads have been scaled to 20% of their nominal power, while the generators produce their nominal power. After executing the load flow, we can see, that within two regions, highlighted in the network, lines are highly loaded at 99%. and 106%. This indicates that reinforcement might be necessary. In the other scenario, in which all loads stay at their operating point, while the generation is set to zero, neither line is endangered. Now we will analyze the network probabilistically. First, we activate study case probabilistic load flow. In the network, time characteristics have been assigned to loads and generators. These characteristics can be converted into distributions using a tool called distribution estimation. It can also be found in the probabilistic analysis toolbox. In our case, all active characteristics are converted into distributions using the estimation method, bootstrapping. Depending on the settings on the Advanced Options page, the newly created distributions can automatically be assigned to the parameters. An example for a distribution based on a characteristic can be found here. A distribution is estimated from the characteristic using the bootstrapping method. Some wind turbines in this network use a transformed distribution instead of a distribution based on a characteristic. This distribution transforms any distribution with a wind power curve. Furthermore, correlations for loads and for some wind turbines are used in this example. Correlations might be necessary in order to consider for example wind parks, in which the wind speeds for every turbine are quite similar. Here, we can see that a Gaussian copula is used, in order to correlate the active power of four wind turbines with a factor of 0.98. Now, the probabilistic analysis can be executed. Since this has already been done before, we can load the probabilistic analysis results by pressing the corresponding button on the toolbar. At the first step the results can be analyzed based on the coloring of the schematic diagram. Looking at the mean values, nothing critical can be found in the network. Now, let us take a closer look at the two lines which were highly loaded in the previously analyzed extreme case. Two plots are predefined for this purpose. From the plot overdimensioned, it can be seen that the frequency of loadings above 100% of the lines line 0608 and line 0609 is very low. In the extreme case with low load and high in feed, these lines were loaded above 100%. This is also confirmed by the low empirical probability for values over 100%. In contrast to this, plot under dimension shows that there is an accumulation at higher loadings at the lines LN0626, LN0628 and LN0630. Since these lines were loaded by around 99% in the extreme case scenario, the probabilistic analysis indicates that a reinforcement of these lines might become necessary.